beautiful Bobby. You know, be Bobby, you are an incredible athlete, Mr. Eaton, but beautiful you are not, okay? You are about as beautiful as Billy Bob Thornton in Sling Blade, all right? But at least that retard could cut a decent promo. I don't know. I know everybody's seeing the news. They've just released all those miners. Jerry Lawler finally unlocked this front door. Many wrestlers on this dais have done a whole bunch of drugs throughout their careers. Unfortunately, none of us have ever found a drug that can make Al Snow entertaining to watch. Missy loves medical science in spite of what it's done to her. Al Snow, you're fucking my best friend Cindy Bobcat. God bless you. Keep laying the pipe, motherfucker. My name is Dutch Mantel and I'm an, I'm an alcoholic. There's so many washed up WWE mid-carters here. I didn't know if I was at a roast or a TNA pay-per-view. If I tried to be funny, I'd bore you kind of like my matches. And I want to apologize for that. But the rumor has it that Missy Hyatt sucked off so many wrestlers that she actually spits out somas. <laughs> Bobby Eaton was considered one of the highest flyers of the 80s, and now he's so fat he can't even fly Southwest Airlines. People forget about Dutch and Courtney's charity work. They used to work for a nonprofit organization called TNA. All they had to do to get Prince Nana here was to promise to pay his electric bill and tell him to have a fat white bitch here for him. Jim Cornette, he really does hate black people. He does, he really does hate black people. There's nothing wrong with that because I hate black people too. And if we were to kill everyone that Jimmy hates, it wouldn't be murder, it would be genocide. <laughs> Wait a minute, Jimmy, let me say one thing. If I say some things up here tonight that you don't like, I just want an acknowledgement from you that you won't threaten to kill me via email. <laughs> but seriously, Jim, you've been in the building now for a few hours. Shouldn't you have been fired from this roast by now? Jim, you are one of the rec most recognizable men in all of pro wrestling history. You're always adorned in your multicolored polyester, covered in sweat from head to toe, and carrying your ever-present tennis racket. You're like a flamboyant Arthur Ashe, just too fat to have AIDS. Jimmy found out real quick there was two things that he couldn't do in the wrestling business. Heel and baby face. <laughs> it's come to this. I main event at the Superdome. I was in the main event at WrestleMania. I've done it for 30 years in professional wrestling. I'm in Monroe with you fucks. Good to see Amy still shopping in Baby Doll's favorite store, the Junior Moose Department. When I first met Bob Holly, though, he was a young man, brand new in the business. Nobody knew who he was, and he couldn't work a lick. And now, 20 years later, everybody knows who he is. I still see potential in Nick Dinsmore, but when I first met him, what, 11, 12 years ago, he was a young wrestler. He'd do his homework in the locker room. He was still in college, going to school, and he came up to me one night. He said, Mr. Cornette, Mr. Cornette, did you see my last match? And I said, I certainly hope so, Nick. I, I certainly hope so. Pull that comb over. Oh, get your old school stick. Billy Kidman. <laughs> Live! from Monroe, New Jersey, it's Ring Roast 3!